So I'm going to be talking about the thing that is very near and dear to my heart for nearly 10 years now. So I've been working on the verge of AI and talent acquisition for you know pretty much all my professional life and the University Plus. So today we're going to be talking about why your company should be starting to use AI-powered chatbots for talent acquisition today. So uh, the two, you know, what are we going to go through? So first one, I'm going to provide you with a basic understanding of what is artificial intelligence, what are the areas in talent acquisition that you can actually um, transform by using AI-powered solutions, what are the real uh, world case studies, the numbers, you know, from the fellow practitioners, and also I will be doing, at the very end of it, I'm going to be doing the demo of the chatbot in real, real life, in action. All right. So let us start with what is artificial intelligence. So in very like, you know, oversimplifying the things, uh, artificial intelligence is computer's ability to think. What does it mean to think and to imitate the human intelligence? So thinking means uh, ability of the system to interpret the data around it, use, uh, learn from this data, and also use those learnings in order to achieve specific goals or perform specific tasks. So when people are, uh, you know, referring to AI right now, they usually mean one of several things. Understanding of the human speech, self-driving cars are not autonomous, um, winning the people in strategic games such as AlphaGo or chess, and also the military um, simulations. So, and you know, from all the media, I'm pretty sure everybody has seen the Black Mirror, the Terminator, the She movie. You know, um, a lot of people are being intimidated by AI because they think that AI has this general ability to think as human can. Although it's one of the long-term perspective of the field, but it's not right now. So instead, what we have right now in the real world is so-called narrow AI that can perform very specific routine and repeated the task on behalf of the human. And it has a se several you know, great um, benefits to it. For example, artificial intelligence and the robot will never take a coffee break. And it will be there for every single applicant after hours, during the weekends, during the holidays, and will be serving every single one of them. It will never allow itself to do a mistake or human you know, bias. And it's not, you know, and it can actually benefit you. So before we actually start, and I will tell you like everything about how AI and chatbots can be applied to talent acquisition, let me ask you. So how many of you do have AI-powered tools in the talent acquisition processes in any sort of in your company currently? Can you please raise your hands? All right. Sounds good. About 5% of the audience. That's promising. So how many of you are planning to implement something like that by 2020? Can you please raise your hands? That's nice, all right. So I, I hope you know the knowledge that I'll provide to you today. So, um, you, um, so I'm going to be talking about the chatbots because this is why I'm, I'm very kind of specialized in right now. So the chatbots, uh, AI-powered chatbots, can be actually used in several different areas of talent acquisition currently. So one of them is pre-application process. That means uh, engaging with the top of the funnel. That means reactivation of the cool candidate from your ATS or CRM. And that also means, uh, you know, things like, yeah, answering the same questions of the candidates, things like this. So chatbot can also be applied to the pre-screening part because chatbots can ask, uh, you know, can ask every single applicant the filtering questions in order to make sure that this applicant is a good fit for a job. So third one, I'm pretty sure you can actually relate, especially if we're working with high volumes of recruitment, it's a scheduling piece. This is crazy. So chatbots can actually automate very effectively the scheduling piece for you as well. So uh, also you can actually implement the chatbots um, for interviewing, that means assessments, that means capturing the video and analyzing the videos of the applicants in order to um, predict the employee lifetime value and whether or not the candidate will be a good fit for a job. So, and also the chatbot can actually be um, every employee's assistant in the onboarding and orientation process, which is crucially important. So, let us start with the lead generation. And I'm going to be mentioning the numbers that we've discovered after we uh, you know, up, up, kind of process the application of over 3 million people in 15 countries. Okay, so um, 
So what I mean by you know, pre-application process, that means whenever the applicant is ready to apply for a job, first thing they need to do, you know, instead of being redirected to the job application form, rather the chatbot will pop up and start engaging the candidate into conversation. That means the chatbot can immediately address any candidate's questions such as, will you provide me with a visa support? What's, what's the benefit package? Or can I bring my cat to the office? You know, things like this. So the chatbot can actually do this. And what we found by this is what, just, you know, at the moment you actually replace the web application form, which is like 40 field long, mobile and friendly with the chatbot, you increase the amount of applicants on the top of the funnel by 85% because of the simplicity, because of the engagement of the process and very easy to use for the applicants. So, and yes, and the chatbot can eventually be answering 99% of all the questions that the candidates might be asking. And what also very important on this particular step, the chatbot can actually recommend the suitable job to the, uh, to the applicant, depending on the location, depending on the area, years of experience, and things like this. Okay, the pre-screening part, which is really important. Right after we kind of engaged the applicant initially, we want to pre-screen the candidate because we want to make sure that this candidate has certain years of experience, certain qualification, maybe certain specific criteria that they might be using. Just a second. Okay, so, and uh, the pre-screening process is very important one. Yeah. Hmm. What's also very important in the pre-screening is that you know currently whenever the candidate apply for a job opening, most of them will never hear back from you because of this, you know, recruiters just don't have time to reply to every single applicant that is not a good fit, right? And the chatbot is there for every single applicant 24 seven, giving them feedback. For example, I'm not really sure you're a good fit for this particular role, let me suggest your other job opening, or let me contact, contact you when, whenever we have something suitable for you, so that the candidate does not ha feel abandoned and you know, just forgotten. So yeah, this is very important one. So the scheduling piece, it is, this is, oh my God, this is crazy. So the chatbots can actually automate all the scheduling piece for you. So that means whenever the candidate is a good fit for a job, we, just go, uh, we can just go ahead and schedule them for the first step of the interview process. Whether or not it's an in-person interview with a hiring manager, that's for example, if we're talking about the retail stores, or maybe this is a phone interview with a recruiter. But it's not only that. The chatbot can actually help you if you're having this complex, you know, interview, um, interview session in your company. For example, 10 interviews in a row, some of them will be panel interviews with a couple of interviewers in different time zones. So the chatbot can actually be integrated into the corporate calendar system or to the any recruiter's calendar and automate this whole thing for you. As well as answer to the candidate's questions such as, do you have the parking? Or how do I connect to the WebEx, you know, and things like this. This is really cool. So this is something that we do. It just helps the company. So we just signed one of the customers and they have 60 people department only doing the scheduling. So interview coordination. So just one tool can actually help you get those people to do very interesting and strategic things instead of focusing on this. All right. I'm actually having running a lot of time. So Assessment piece is very, also very important because the chatbot can ask the candidates different questions and um, find the correlations between the you know, successful employees currently and predict whether or not the applicant will be a good fit for a job, will churn out within three months, or will be you know, promoted eventually. And, and the onboarding, of course. So the onboarding, that means that you know, whenever you hire the new employee, the chatbot can reach out to them using the text messaging, using the email, using the Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, whatever, and help the candidate through this initial uh, document gathering, answering the initial uh, employee's questions such as, when is my paycheck coming, you know, and things like this. How can I get myself a paid vacation, and you know, all of this. So, pretty, you know, so additional cap capabilities of the chatbot is, are also very important, so you can not only use the chatbot for the applicants, but rather for the employees of the uh, company as well. For example, you, using the chatbot, you can actually gather the referrals from your current employees of the you know, good, suitable uh, people for uh, your nearest jobs. So yeah. And also you can do the employee satisfaction surveys to make sure that you know, people are happy in your company and uh, reactivate the cold candidate database. That means uh, the can, uh, chatbot can reach out to, you know, 
So for example, you've been working on the market for three years, you've gathered a lot of those applicants in your ATS or CRM. So from time to time, on your behalf, the chatbot can actually outreach to them and see whether or not they're, they're might be up for a job, you know, or update the information about them. Yeah? All right. So a, little, a couple of stats, because we, I told you that we've processed over 3 million uh, applicants so far. So here's what we've discovered. First of all, 72% of all the applicants come from the mobile devices, which is, you know, uh, the rea reality of nowadays. So on average, it takes them 3.6 minutes to complete the application. This is comparing to this, you know, 40 minute long job application form that you usually have in your ATS. So 42% of all the applicants are getting so engaged with the chatbot that they're asking them all types of, you know, irrelevant to the job or the vacancy questions, such as, uh, are you a robot? Do you have a girlfriend? You know, what's the weather in London? That's very interesting. So you increase the conversion rate by 85% and 99.3% said it was, you know, whether excellent or good experience with the chatbot at the end. So, and it will cost you pretty much for a one hire you, you know, do you do in the company during the year? It will cost you starting from $5 only. So it's not that expensive. Right, uh, before we jump into the demo, I will tell you a couple of uh, case studies. For example, IKEA in Russia implemented the chatbots, Azure chatbots actually, to their job kiosk. So that means in every store of the IKEA, every applicant can just go there, find themselves a relevant job, uh, you know, make themselves an appointment within like three minutes. So they increased the conversion from those applications into the employees from 1.8%, which they used to have well, when they had the paper application to 10% with the chatbot because the process is so much more easy, so much more relaxed, you know, for the, all the applicants. A lot more applicants actually apply. So this first one. So we also have uh, one of the largest of our customers right now is a 200,000 people company. And they're using the chatbot in order to engage with all the applicants when their call centers are closed. For example, during the lunchtime, uh, after hours, weekends, holidays, and all this. So the chatbots, you know, on behalf of their recruitment departments, talks on average with three and a half thousand applicants per month, which is really cool. So this is where we're going to actually be starting uh, the chatbot demo. So you will see this on the screen and I will be commenting it, okay? So here we see the initial candidate engagement whenever the applicant is ready to apply for a job using the LinkedIn. So they click the apply button and here's what happens, uh, you know. So they click that they agree and they actually wanted to apply for a sales representative role in Budapest. So before actually candidate apply, they prefer to ask a couple of questions such as what's the salary, what will be my responsibilities, um, I don't know, can I bring my cat? What is your benefit package? What is your insurance and things like this? So you can actually automate this process with the use of the chatbot super easily. So here is the example if you're using the you know, Hungarian or the English. So let's say I'm ready to apply as applicants, and here the chatbot will warn me that it will take a couple of minutes, and you know, it's good for me, okay. So the chatbot will collect all the information initially about the applicants in order to re-engage, remind about the interview, or maybe just to send it to the ATS of the uh, company and the recruiter. All right, here the pre-screening process starts. That means that the chatbot will ask all the questions that are mandatory requirements for this particular job to make sure that this candidate actually is a good fit. So what's your you know, level of experience? What's your zip code? If you want to, for example, suggest um, the closest office, the closest location for this particular applicant. So do you have reliable means of transportation? Yes, say less I do. All right, and what's your notice period? So here you can actually upload any resume and the, you know, the chatbot will immediately upload it to the ATS and calendar system of the company, for sure. And the very awesome feature is that, you know, the, we're talking about the customer facing roles, you can actually ask them to record a little sample of themselves of like self-presentation or something. Okay, so here, uh, based on all the questions, you know, based on the answers that the candidate provided, the chatbot decided that that's a good fit for a job and they actually suggested to schedule themselves for interview. And on the back end, it's also linked to the company's ATS, so it knows what are the time slots available for the recruiter. So yeah. And here's, you know, right after this, within three minutes, we just finished the application. There's, you know, much more than this for the chatbot. This is just only the initial candidate engagement, 
there is also the attraction, there's also, I don't know, reactivation of the cold candidate database. So this is very interesting, yes. Due to this, actually, questions, we added the small talk functionality in order to give them the personality so that the chatbot can actually, you know, they, it's, it's witty and, you know, smart and funny. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, this is the email and the texting message that the candidate will get. And also the chatbot will actually make sure that the candidates show up at the interview. And you know, in order to do this, we'll send them the text messages, the emails, confirmation, give them the opportunity to reschedule if needed. So yeah, that's about it. This is how it looks like in the company calendar system. And uh, yeah, that's it about the presentation. Thanks you. Thank you for the attention. So just the last few words. So what should business consider whenever they're evaluating the vendors for themselves? So first one, the chatbot should obviously be budget friendly. And also the company does need to know how to do this change management very smoothly and with you know, minimal efforts to your real company, it's TAT. So also, before you actually uh, dive into the implementation of the chatbot into your talent acquisition process, you need to understand what are the metrics you want to actually affect and you know, what, are, what are the process you want to transform and what is that that you want to achieve by implementing the chatbot solution. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much and kiss. That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody.